Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. Today we're checking out 23 facts about the UK that confuse foreigners. I'm a foreigner. The United Kingdom might not seem like a place that could offer you anything more exciting than a cup of tea and some gloomy weather, but this place does, in fact, have its oddities. The United Kingdom might not seem like a place that could offer you anything more exciting than a cup of tea and some gloomy weather. Jeez. How you doing? If you're planning a trip, you can meet some Scousers, possibly a unicorn, and definitely a Sophia. But first... Seen a lot of British culture videos lately, and not an expert, but I'll be surprised if they're able to confuse me. Actually, he did confuse me already with the unicorns and the Sophia. One. Can't talk about Great Britain without mentioning the world-famous clock, Big Ben. Only Big Ben isn't the name of the clock or the tower it's on. It's the bell inside. And here's another funny tidbit. In 1945, a flock of birds perched on the clock's minute hand and put the time back by five minutes. Well, I knew it was the bell that's called Big Ben, but I didn't know that birds can change the time. Two, at an astonishing 443 feet in height, the London Eye is the fourth tallest Ferris wheel in the world. A single rotation on this bad boy takes roughly 30 minutes to complete. But a little known oh, fact wow. is that it wasn't London's first giant wheel. That honor goes to the Great Wheel, which was opened to the public in 1895 and demolished 22 years later in 1907. Why was it demolished? It was demolished following its last use with the Imperial Austrian exhibit of 1906 as it was no longer profitable to run. It had 40 cars, each with a capacity of 30 people. Wow, it just wasn't profitable. It looks like it was not next to the water, maybe that's why. 3. Queen Elizabeth II has been to over a hundred countries. She is a major world leader after all, but the real kicker is that she did it without a passport. And that's perfectly okay. <laughs> she doesn't need one since, well, she's the queen. Yeah. I would like to see the interaction that might happen if she did need a passport. I mean, she has an army. Four, lots of people make the same mistake over and over again, so let's set the record straight. Great Britain and the United Kingdom are not the same thing. The UK includes Northern Ireland, Great Britain doesn't. Five, hey, ever met a scouser? I've come across some scoundrels in my time, but no, not a scouser. I don't scouser. know if I have ever met a if scouser. If you know anyone from Liverpool, then yes, you have. People from this northwestern English city got this nickname from the word lobscouse, which was a famous stew popular among sailors that visited Liverpool. Local people adopted the dish, and the name just stuck. So the Beatles were scousers then? The more you know. Six. Now, a fun fact for all you bookworms out there. The towering British Library in King's Cross, London has lots and lots of books for you to enjoy. No, I'm serious. It's got over 170 million items in its catalog. Oh my god. Seven. How do you... How long would it take to count 170 million books? If you could count one book per second, it would take 1.9 million days. How many years is that? <laughs> 5.3 years. So they must do inventory every six years or so, and then just start the inventory over again. Take a couple months off, get right back to counting. <laughs> but it takes way more than one second to catalog. Oh, I, I don't get it. How does that work? That does confuse me. This one confuses me, and I am a foreigner. So yeah. Seven. There's a village in Wales with a tongue twister of a name. You guys ready for it? Oh, I think um, I should. Um, Lillen um, Fair. Yeah. Lillen Fair. Oh, I've just put this. it on the screen. It still it confuses fit? me. Great. Anyway, the Welsh to English translation is St. Mary's Church in the hollow of the White Hazel near the fierce whirlpool of St. Tisilo. Whew. Then fair wago wago lago re shibolama ra vlivolilits lolo go 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 goch. I've heard of that fact before and it still confuses me. I think I saw in another video, maybe a Mad Men video, that the reason the town is called that is really just for publicity, for these little moments like this. And it worked. Good job, people of that town. Eight. 
London has the oldest and one of the largest underground transport systems on our planet. The London Tube includes 270 fully functioning stations and at least 40 more that aren't even in use. But it also manages wow. to steal about 80,000 umbrellas from passengers each year. Nine. <laughs> 80,000 umbrellas a year? I should move to London and open an umbrella shop. 80,000 umbrellas a year. What do they do with the umbrellas? Oh, London Underground. TFL reveals it made more than 800,000 pounds in a year from its items lost on public transport. Heck yeah. I didn't see anything specifically about umbrellas, but I'm sure they're incorporated into that. 80,000 umbrellas. How much does an umbrella cost? We'll say 30 bucks. How many pounds is that? 24.68 pounds? We'll say 25 pounds. That's 2 million pounds a year of umbrellas. Roughly. Not even counting the really nice umbrellas. The umbrella market. It's huge. And for the record, that does confuse me. Nine. In Scotland, you can take the world's shortest flight between Westray and the Papa Westray Islands. Get ready because this flight will take just two minutes. Two minutes of absolute terror, I'm sure. Y'all, I flew in a plane from Phoenix, Arizona to Flagstaff, Arizona. It's a really short distance, and it was in a puddle jumper. And it was the most terrifying, turbulent flight I've ever taken. This two minutes would be absolute horror. And you know the wind up there is going crazy. I, ugh, take the boat. 10. Make sure you don't stick a stamp with the Queen upside down on an envelope in the UK. Otherwise, it is considered an act of treason. By the way, the United Kingdom was the first country to use postage stamps. It was the black penny from back in 1840. As for your final stamp fact of the day, Great Britain is the only country in the world that doesn't have its name on its stamps. Something tells me that's not true. That just seems ridiculous. It's an act of treason, according to Quora. And the sun. Isn't that a tabloid? 11. Yate-born J.K. Rowling is the first billionaire author in the world. She sold more than 400 million copies of the Harry Potter book series. And her actual name is Joanne Rowling. J.K. is her pen name. That doesn't confuse me. Or does it? She's the first billionaire author. That is confusing, actually. You would think of all the authors that have ever been. I don't know, Harry Potter, though. Good for her. 12. Are you currently on a bright side binge-watching marathon? Nice! But you can thank English computer scientist Sir Timothy John Berners-Lee for inventing the World Wide Web that you spend so many hours on each day. Is he still alive? I wonder if he's watching this video right now. He's still alive! Sir Tim! Sir Tim, I just want to say thank you for the internet. It is nice to shop at home and order food with. And I don't blame you for Facebook. It's cool. I don't blame you. 13. Are you about to finish school and thinking about where to go to college? You've got plenty of choices in the UK. There are more than 100 universities all over the country. That does seem like a lot, doesn't it? I'm just having a moment thinking about the education system in the United States, and I don't think I want to get into it. On with the video. 14. Any guesses what the national animal of Scotland is? Strap in for this one. Is it a it's unicorn? the unicorn. According oh. to Scottish mythology, the unicorn is the sworn enemy of the lion, which is the symbol of the English royal family. Hmm. Unicorns are real, y'all. Here's one right here. <laughs> And here's another one. This is a real unicorn, y'all. Look at that. That's a unicorn. That's real. This is real. This is a real photo. This is a real unicorn. Unicorns are real. 15. Greetings are a very important part of communication. There's no doubt about that. Hello, hey. And how can you greet someone? Hi. Hi. Hello. Hey. Salutations, if you're fancy. Well, if you're ever in Britain, you might be greeted with a, you all right? Or even just, all right. Moving on. 16. It's illegal to wear an armor suit into the House of Parliament. I know, I know, mm. it's always been on your bucket list, but you'll just have to forget about it and wear your armor someplace else. That's got to be one of those leftover laws. I guess it's still good policy, though. Even though people don't wear suits of armor really anymore, you really don't want someone wearing a suit of armor in Parliament, right? 
don't come in here with that suit of armor on. Whereas in the past, it was because they might be trying to cause some violence. Now it's probably just because they're trying to be ridiculous. It's a place of business. Laws. 17. What was the official language of Great Britain in the 11th century? English, you say? French. Nope. From 1066 to 1362, the predominant language of England was actually French. That explains why almost 30% of the English language comes from French. 18. Oh, I didn't okay. know that. 30% of the English language comes from French? English is a mishmash of a language. Etiquette, sabotage, dentist. Coupons, crochet, rectangle, renaissance, souffle, dossier, faux pas, hors d'oeuvre, roll, rendezvous, seance, debris, restaurant, roulette. Well, yeah, we do have a lot of French words. Qu'est-ce que tu fais dans la vie? Mi amour. 18. Okay, I'm sure you know that the English love their tea. But do you really know how much? The British drink it more than any other nation in the world. For instance, they drink 20 times more tea than Americans do. Wow, 19. 20 times. I know there are like 350 million or so Americans. How many British people are there? 67 million, that's a lot. 67 million people drink 20 times more tea than 300 and... 31.9 million as of 2021. That does confuse me. How much tea are y'all drinking? How many cups of tea do you drink a day? I drink about three cups of coffee a day, but today, y'all, today, I'm on cup number five. And my vision is starting to blur. On with the video. Teen. If you make it to 100 years old in the UK, the Queen will send you a telegram and wish you a happy birthday. That's so you nice. You can get another one if you celebrate your 105th birthday and still more each year after that. How thoughtful. Wow. That's, 20. That's going to add up. There used to be almost no 100-year-old people. The guy on the morning news would say, hey, Grace Johnson is turning 100 today, and there might be one other person every day. But now... That's a lot of people. How many British people are over 100 years old? 13,924. Wow, that's a lot of letters to write. And she's got to do it for them every year after that. Well, now she doesn't. <laughs> that wasn't bad taste because she's dead now. But I guess the king does that. I mean, maybe he doesn't. That's a lot of letters to write. I don't play I, I would not hold it against him if he stopped doing that. 20. You won't find any U.S. eggs in the U.K. They're illegal since they get washed. The funny thing is that the same uh, applies vice versa. U.K. eggs are illegal in the U.S. because they're not washed. Gotta watch out for those bad eggs, eh? Okay, so by washed he means, like, disinfected and bleached and how do we wash eggs? It's like not a great thing to do. Right? Warm water and a detergent. See? Y'all, the average egg in America is not good. The yolks are yellow. It's kind of weird. If you come to America and you buy eggs, you want to get make sure you get organic, grass-fed, whatever hippy-dippy qualifications you can find because the normal eggs are not as good. If you live in Great Britain and you want me to mail an egg to you, let me know your address and I'll try it. I'll try to mail you an egg. No, I won't. I'm not going to do that. I don't want to get in trouble. I'm risk averse. 21. Speaking of strange laws, it's actually illegal to go to the cinema on a Sunday in Northern Ireland. You can even be fined up to 50 pounds or roughly $65 for breaking what? this law. No. Wait, so are no, movie like... theaters there even open on Sundays? Yeah, you would hmm. think. 22. Okay. What? In what? order to be He didn't even answer the question. That can't be right. That must be like a religious thing. I'm not getting a clear answer. I'm going to leave that to uh yeah, that confuses me. I don't know what he's talking about. 22. In order to become one of those super cool looking black cab drivers in London, you need to pass a special test called the knowledge. Sounds cryptic. The hard part it about it is memorizing every single street in London. A lot of drivers spend years preparing for this test. 23. Oh my god. In the early 1800s. That 
would take years. Wow. They have to memorize every street. Do they still have to do that? Even with modern navigation, they still have to do that? That's a lot of work. 23. In the early 1800s, just about a quarter of all women in Britain were named Mary. Imagine trying to call out a to quarter. your friend Mary in a crowd back then. Sophia has held on to the number one spot for nine years in a row, oh, and wow. Mary didn't even make it to the top 25 in 2018. Oh, how the times have changed. Aaliyah. <laughs> Which of these facts did you... What's the most common name in America? It's Mary. Patricia, Linda, Barbara, Elizabeth, Jennifer, Maria, Susan... I wonder if Sophia will be next here. I wonder if that trend will make its way over. Which of these facts did you know already, and which one surprised you the most? Some of those really did confuse me. Y'all, all this time I thought I knew every little trivial fact about the UK, and I did not. I learned some stuff. This is really fun. Yeah, thank y'all for watching with me. Thanks for uh, recommending this video, and I'll see you next time. Later.